Hello, good evening, and welcome back to the stream. This one's gonna go on YouTube. So, if you cannot make it to this one, it's gonna be on YouTube forever. How cool is that? Uh, I have been working outside of outside of the of the streams, <clears throat> and I have sort of finished uh, designing all of the tiny stalls. I kind of would like these banners to be a different color, but we'll get to that at some other point. We have this one here for the candles and everything. I still need some green dye to put <clears throat> down some green candles for, for Yomi because those are the yellow ones for Lina, those are the purple ones for Wheat, and those are the pink ones for me. Uh, is everything going? Yeah. Hold on, I'll bring game sounds a bit higher. Okay. <clears throat> This is our new horse. He's super fast, but doesn't know how to jump. And I have this one here for flowers, because I want to make a flower farm at some point. And I think this, one's look, this one looks probably the cutest. We have some farms, and that's my star house. That's the wagon that I've been living in, and I'm starting to outgrow. Uh, all of my tests are starting to get a bit too too little for for what I have to for what I have to store <clears throat> so today we are gonna go over in that direction I think over yonder past Monty's house to <clears throat> the border between a snowy biome and the plains biome there's some really nice mountains there and I want to build a castle on top of one and maybe plan the we uh, I kind of mentioned I wanted to build um, I proposed to to build a um, I forgot the name, uh, a mini game area over that way. Because <clears throat> I want to, to, to build a split mini game. I want to drop people down and see if. see if words don't fail me today, because today is kind of important. <clears throat> but I was thinking that. <clears throat> God. <clears throat> That maybe today, no, that maybe we could uh, make it to be some sort of park, like an amusement park, to have like a castle and, and different areas with different kinds of mini games. And I thought it would be really fun because this is a multiplayer server, that's Yummy's house down there. It's completely full with dogs. There's a lot of dogs. Let me show you. I built this portal. It looks really cute. Um, there's also this bulletin board. <clears throat> there's a bridge. There's a giant spike of wood going into the heavens. <clears throat> I don't know why this bridge is cursed, to be honest, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen dogs in the house. And another one out here. And I'm pretty sure there's more dogs up there. <clears throat> and and also <clears throat> a fox in gay baby jail. Because this fox 
ate one of Rushi's chickens, and Rushi was not happy. So now that fox is forever imprisoned. <clears throat> I have been working a lot in this area, on the area stretching from this bridge all the way to this plaza. I wanted to make more pathways down there to take to the Montes and I think Torin's house is right over those trees. And there's more pathways over here. There's a cat on my screen. Hold on. There we go. This is my tiny area. And down that way is where witch lived. And also the way to the to the spider farm that I built a bit early on that I've been using to mend my tools. <clears throat> Last stream we built this wall here. I don't know why, but it looks nice. So it's staying. It's a bit dark and a bit too there's not too much contrast between the wall and the leaves and everything. I think it's gonna be nighttime soon again. <clears throat> we have a donkey that I've been using to store my things uh, as well. We have two foxes, Gelato and Sherbet. And they are my little angels and they're gonna move with me when I go to my other base. We have a tiny enchantment area with some oops with some nether world farms this uh, uh i'm gonna say frost walker is not a good thing when you have a pickle farm <clears throat> i killed my i killed my coral now i have to wait for more coral i think my music is too low This is the mending guy that you always need in your servers or your worlds. Tiny farms for dice. Uh, this bamboo now is more decorative than anything because I made <coughs> a tiny farm right beyond this wall. <coughs> God. Uh, I don't know if I can show you. I hope I can. Oh no. Me flowers. There's a very uh, inefficient farm here. That's just meant to supply me with a bit of extra paper if I need it. Nothing major, nothing out of the ordinary and there's my babies <clears throat> literally my babies I need one of those <clears throat> cats screaming downstairs I was gonna bring more more villagers down here but i think i'm gonna just cut down to the chase and go for <clears throat> go for the big one go and get the villagers set up when i have to build my big base <clears throat> I don't know what I have uh, in my throat today. I <clears throat> it's like it's stuck. Uh, I need wood. One of those. Wanted to have this in the candle making. Stall. These are not gonna be for selling anything to be honest. 
<clears throat> I just felt like it would be a nice spot to have all of this. Uh, <clears throat> maybe there. And if people want, uh, they can just come and grab things that I might leave uh, behind. It's more like a... Oh, I thought I heard uh, villagers. <clears throat> Where's the villager downstairs? Uh, it's gonna be more like uh, something that I want to offer. Want to offer to to the friends that are playing here with me. Ew. So, let's grab some more food and go see what Roshi and the others have been up to. Cause I'm pretty sure they've been building a lot. Also, <clears throat> down there, that's Lime's house. Um, I don't know if. She's played a lot yet, but I think she wanted to make a, some sort of beach house. Well, that's what they told me. Yami has been also working a lot. She's got a really nice garden going with a fountain and all and, and a lot of flowers. <clears throat> and an overhang with leaves in this tiny sitting area. Rush is taking over though. <clears throat> She's also building this <clears throat> This greenhouse, I helped uh, design the, the, the roof, kind of, while we were chatting. And this is meant to be, meant to, to look kind of like a, like a mushroom. Looks really cute. Uh, there's the tower floating, of course. You wouldn't expect anything else from Yummy. Full with dogs. <clears throat> Dad, hello. Welcome, welcome to the stream today. Was that a... Oh, I thought that was an Enderman. For some reason. I saw it from really far away and I thought it was an Enderman. But no, that's, that's Dorin's house. Uh, I'm gonna try not to spoil a lot of things. But I think they were building it on stream, like just a couple of days ago. <clears throat> How are you today, Chad? I'm really sorry about last uh, about last uh, the other day when you were talking, and I I, I didn't see because my phone's my phone's dumb. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream either way. <clears throat> so this is Rosie's house. Terribly, terribly um, flammable. <clears throat> That's a lot of chickens. Why is there a pig in there? Why is there a pig in the chicken pen? Also, those crops look really nice. Layered like this. Kinda scared of that. And there's a village over that hill that I've been using to, to trade with the with the whatever they're called the farmers well the farmer just there's this one and look what I can do I can lag the stream 
Last time I did this, the stream died. Oh, it didn't like that now. Hmm, fun. <clears throat> I'm gonna abuse this power now. Oh, I'm out of food again. But look at me, look at how shiny I am. All decked out. I just need the hole. <clears throat> One day we're gonna go and mine for netherite for two hours. You'll see how fun that is. Ow. When that's finished and there's a bit more action there, I feel like this is gonna be a really nice view from, from Jamie's area. <clears throat> but now that I've kind of pretty much finished uh, building my my starter area I feel like I should move and start doing my big boy things <clears throat> that's why today we're gonna go on a mission and we're gonna build a mob drop farm or whatever they're called I think they're usually usually called uh, mob grinders <clears throat> oh, also, we. I gave back the stuff that Phil lost. It's down there. Because I found a dirt pole with a lot of stuff scattered around while I was looking for places to build. Look at how nice this is. I'm really proud of this. And it's really basic stuff as well, but it looks so good. And look at that. Look at how much string the farm does. Hello in gravity, welcome to the stream. How's your day? Uh we are touring a bit of what I've been building. There's a nice lamppost. There's fields. I found I found the, the things. I found the the pink tulips. And I remembered to to take coordinates. So we're gonna build a, a, a flower farm at some point. <clears throat> Also, look at that. Uh, okay. Let's... I should... Do I have... Do I have wards today? Apparently not. One, two, three, four stacks and a bit of stone. <clears throat> Is it like that time now? Uh, over where you are? Oh, also, there's a spore blossom up there. You're welcome to the stream. Uh, either way. Uh, I wish I could stop stumbling on my words for just one day. Okay. Uh, that's one, two, three, four. I'm gonna take this much. I think that's gonna be fine. Oh, a follow. Uh, welcome in gravity. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I also need a crap ton of trapdoors. It's about to be 11. What's this small guy? Which one? The yellow one on my... That, that just appeared on the screen? Uh, 
the the little guy that just appeared on my screen is my my channel mascot. His name is Citron and he's a lemon. Okay, I'm trying to think as my my brain just went completely off track. I need I need four I think that's gonna be enough. Yeah, that's enough. I don't have much iron and it's bothering me a bit. So that... We should fix that at some other point. Uh, two blocks, uh, two pieces of coal. Hold on. I'll be with you in a moment. You'll be right back? That's okay. Uh, ma -ma 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 -ma. I need four of those. Four hoppers. Four chests. No, four, not four, seven. Seven chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need seven chests. Oh, also, let me show you where I've been digging. Because it's a... It's a mess down there. There's water? Yes, down. I've been cleaning all these. I found a lot of diamonds, and I'm also looking for, for, um, slime chunks. Because the... What's it called now? <clears throat> the swamp's kind of far away, and I don't want to have to go there to kill them. So I'd rather just dig and hope. And I should probably get myself a water elevator to get out of here. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if you follow any other people of the ones who play on the server. But today in like... Uh, two hours and a half... Uh, a lot of the people from the server are gonna be playing together. Uh, they're gonna go to Disneyland in Minecraft. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to join them, sadly, because I'll be having dinner at that point. But I bet it's gonna be a lot of fun and you should go check it out. Okay. Three of those. <clears throat> I'm kind of wondering if I should take the, the donkey with me. Because it's like a portable shulker. I mean, shulkers are portable, but you know what I mean. We haven't been to the end yet. It's actually really late now already. If you need to go to sleep, you you go. <clears throat> I know that tomorrow is a holiday here in Spain, but uh, I think that just for Christian and all that stuff countries, because it's got to do with Easter, I believe. So, really, if you if you go to, to if you need to go to sleep, you do, you do that. Okay, I don't know what else I need. I need my buckets of water. 
fixing some stuff. Okay. Uh, where's the drone? I have a, I have a drone here. Look. Look at my baby. <gasps> Why are you brown? I thought you were yellow. I thought you were yellow. You're not my son. Oh my god. We need to change his name. Why are we calling him? I was in a cave and I thought he was yellow. It was really dark. What are we calling this thing? I need a name. Brown is yellow. Yeah, but there's a one that's like really bright yellow. This one's the brown variety of, of, of thing, like, I know, which had uh, a couple in her area. Eh. They're living in, inside of the of of the sugarcane farm they're there uh, i think that one's also brown pretty sure and that one's the i think that one's the the pink one but not sure <clears throat> so we are on the look for another yellow uh baby Because this is not my son. Sandy sounds nice. I have a I have a, a character called Sienna. She is a bit of a butt. I should keep writing her story. We're gonna go with Sandy. And we're gonna put Sandy here because this is for Sidran. Okay. Oh, hold on. Give me that. We have a horse, we might as well just give the horse an armor. Look at you. Dashing. <clears throat> We're gonna use my well for 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 its intended purpose. Eh. There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything that I need. This is gonna be a mob drop farm. It's gonna be like. A platform and the mobs are gonna fall. There's no much mystery. I'm gonna take this though. Uh, what time of day is it? Nearly night time. We're gonna wait for the daytime and then we're gonna go. Uh, let me cook some of this fish. Some of these potatoes. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> and while we are waiting for that to cook, I'm gonna tell you uh, what my plans are for the for the for the farm I guess I want 
the farm to be it's pretty much gonna be like a floating re rectangle on over the, the land and there's gonna be a, a like a pipe in the middle going down okay <clears throat> so I thought that I could turn that since it's pretty much going to be all made out of stone, bricks, and cobble, that I could turn that into some sort of castle. It's going to have four corners, so it can have four towers on its corner. And I can build on top and make it look like some sort of citadel of some kind. And I'm actually really excited to try because if everything goes well, that is gonna be looming on top of the of the mini game area that I want the server to have. That I would like the server to have. I have run the the idea with the rest of the. With the rest of the the people in the server, so and and Rushi and and Torin seemed quite excited about about it. So hoping it all goes well. <clears throat> I also kind of want to try experimenting with gradients. I want the towers to start like with that with brick and go up into like calcite and even like I don't know snow blocks to make a, a gradient from the grays into the into the very whites so it would be like I don't have any bricks right now so Imagine this is the thing. It's gonna be a bit different because the 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 texture pack is magic, but it could start there. Then I would have stone. Then on the side. Then diorite, then calcite, then snow. And maybe even concrete. I don't know. Hold on, this is not this one. Actually if you go to my to my Twitter there's a, a picture that's kind of in the style of that. It's not the tower, but it's pretty much the gradient that I want to go for. <clears throat> Yomi has been trying to experiment with gradients as well, but what I want to do is a gradient like in stripes. Yomi is kind of spotty, like it's slowly slowly taking over of the materials. What I want is like for it to look worn out. Like it's got some sort of water damage or something so the closest to the ground it is and the ground is supposed to be more moist or something because it's lush and green <clears throat> the more dark it is because it has the the dust and the dirt there's a lot of particles here <clears throat> and then when the like a tower that's actually being built in a world yeah kind of like that and when I'm done with that I'm gonna need my friends and anyone that wants to join to come over and help me lit up all the caves that are underground because the farm's not gonna work if not
and I'm probably gonna ask Yomi because she's she really likes lighting up games. <laughs> she she's the the third spam lady, pretty much. Uh, it's kind of close. We're gonna walk. It's fine. I have my bed. I have my food. I should bring some dirt to make a tiny hut or something and a door. Because, you know, I mean, since I'm gonna be living in there, that's, that castle's pretty much gonna be my base. You would think that it needs to feel lived in, you know? Now, don't judge me, we're gonna make, we're gonna make me a, a dirt house. Don't tell Lena. She's, she's. She's out on vacation. She can never know. <gasps> Baby. Oh, the, not the dog. I don't want to say that. Uh, I don't think I have enough feather fall for this. So let's aim for the water. Okay, uh, wow. That was disgusting. No, it's not made out of her people. Uh, um, <clears throat> Lena is kind of like the one that does the third houses ship but it's not gonna be an actual house I'm just gonna use it for refuge uh the snow should be over there why are there so many of those trees I mean, I'm not gonna make it out of cobblestone. But really, what's with those trees? I mean, I know it's... That's, that's hitboxes. I know it's a tongue border thing, but I don't know why it happens. Okay, where's the snow? Where's the snow? There's the snow. Okay, so there should be... There's bees in there. I don't know if it's full. Doesn't sound full. <clears throat> so there's, like, a town somewhere here along this border of biomes uh, um, between the the plains there and uh, the snow here oh that's a nice cave i don't know if someone's been down there or if there's lava but i'm not gonna find out there's the the thing okay <clears throat> So my first idea was to, there's a big mountain there, past those ice spikes. I wanted to build a castle on top of that mountain that's uh, out of, out of range. Hold on, give it a moment. Give it a moment. For it to load. There's a lot of leather workers in this. No, okay in this place so I wanted to take over this area with the snow and all that because I wanted to oops, foot. I wanted to make a nice farm and, and have control of things and I thought making some sort of temple looking thing 
in the Isaiah's biome would be really cool. Around around there in that mountain. But my brain started going in all sorts of other directions. And I think there's a big mountain there with like <clears throat> And I'm pretty sure it's uh, one of those, what's it called now? The new biomes, the meadows? I think it's a meadow biome, because there's a lot of alliums. So maybe that's the spot that I want to build the, the, the castle on. Hold on. Pet. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. God damn it, it's night time. Did they say something about new oops? Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> Did they say something about new biomes? Honestly, I, I have really bad memory problems, so if I forget something, do not take it to heart, because it's just my my brain acting up. Uh, I try really hard, though. <sighs> I think it was something about... Oh, the new update. Yeah, that's that's the, the mangrove. The mangrove swamps. I'm really excited about those. There's gonna be frogs and and moss and pretty wood. Okay, so the oh, there's another village there. I forgot. We kind of raided that one with Yummy. I took all of the all of the hay bales, <laughs> and then Yummy got lost, as she does. But look, see, look at those, uh, look at how many aliums there's in there. Look at this. <clears throat> and there's a pretty horse as well. It's pretty much the same one, but dark instead of brown. It's fine. I'm thinking that... The mob grinder is gonna be like 34, 35 blocks tall or something. Because it's gonna spawn witches and I want them to die as well. So maybe instead of building it up there, I need to be somewhere a bit lower and maybe this spot is perfect. I just noticed I forgot something. I forgot to bring scaffolding. And I'm not going back. So let's put down the tests. That, that. Flowers. We're gonna have a very bad storage system for now until I finally move here. And I'm gonna use this for storing things until I need them. I'm gonna leave that out though. This goes here. Let me make myself a shack. Oops. I just need it to be big enough so I can put a bed in. Doesn't need to be like terribly big. 
but hopefully it gets overgrown by by grass because that's gonna look nice I'll put that here now the rest of the dirt goes in there mm, my bed where's my bed here bed can go in there I'm gonna need Am I gonna need a crafting table? I don't think I'm gonna need a crafting table. No, I'm I'm gonna. I am gonna. Crafting table goes here on the floor. Put the dirts on the wall, and we're safe. I'm gonna spam some torches around so it's not like super dangerous at night as well and get rid of that look at all those flowers though I really like this new biome And there's actually an achievement from from this from this biome. Where are the achievements? Where are the achievements in this? Oh. Uh, this one. Sound of music. Make the meadows come alive with the sound of music from a zoo That's a reference from a movie, I think. So, set spawn, close that, leave all this stuff here. I'm gonna need some slabs. Hold on. No, no in brick, in brick. Pretty sure I just clicked twice, but sure, why not? If you see it's turning nighttime and I don't notice, please yell at me. I'm I was actually gonna just do a a normal creeper farm for this but <clears throat> I remembered that I kinda need uh no eight I kinda need bones as well and I would rather can tell when it's nighttime either. It's fine. I I I keep good. I usually keep keep good care of it. Uh, <clears throat> what was I saying? I I want bones, and I want gunpowder. So instead of making two different farms, I'm just gonna make one. Turn all of those into stone into stone bricks. Uh, give me that dirt and one of those buckets, cause I wanna be able to not die. So get rid of the flowers, just in case. <clears throat> Again, this is temporary. I'm I'm gonna have to make a, a sorting system for it which I'm not too excited about okay so it needs to be 30 uh, blocks from up 
here from this block here so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen i hate when it does this twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three <clears throat> I'm gonna go with 23 and then I'll switch to to normal stone oh this is horrible imagine this happens when you're breaking over over the void in in the in the end. Fix your issues up the fine, please. Uh, hold on. Should put those on. Okay, normal stone, normal stone. Well, it's not just... It's not so much building as it is... Oh, night time... As it is like bridging from island to the island to to another island, so you can get your first elytra. Well, it's I think it's pronounced elytra, but I don't care enough. So. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then And up here is where you want your water canals. I hope this is the right height because if not, the witches are not gonna die. And that's gonna be problematic. But I guess I can just move those back down one block. No, it's not. It's actually not. <laughs> but I, I don't have the brain capacity to juggle two uh, languages at the same time so three four five six seven eight and now we're gonna um mlg all the way down i th i hope Nope, I was wrong, and now the water's not there. Oh, is it, was it luck? I hope it was luck, because this is embarrassing. I'm really good at it though. I never fail, except for today. <clears throat> and now I feel dumb, okay. Sword, not that one, this one, not actually that one. This, don't need that. I'm missing stuff. Ah, there you are. Really now? Ugh. Oh, my potatoes. Now I'm gonna feel dumb posting this on YouTube.
Damn it. Okay. I just need one food article. For now. I I hope it was because I retracted the water too fast or something. Cause really kinda of embarrassing if not. Okay, we're gonna pill her up with with the dirt because I I forgot my my scaffolding and this is gonna be the fastest. And up here we are. Okay, one, two. Okay, this is right. This goes like this. And this needs to be two blocks tall so that mobs don't climb back up from here up to here. I'm just hoping that an enderman doesn't decide to ruin the whole thing. Because that's something that could that could happen. Ah, not that one. Okay. Uh, I have definitely learned my lesson. I am not gonna try to MLG again <sighs> though it saddens me because I actually am I, I, I I'm gonna say it again I am really good at it and you can believe me or not but I am there's proof You cannot doubt me. I, there's proof in Yomi's channel. I, I actually kind of tried to teach her how to do it as well. And we tried it with both... Uh, water buckets and... And slime blocks. But I actually am, I know that I put the water down, so I'm, I'm thinking that I did, uh, remove it before I touched it. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, maybe I was too fast. No, I need that. Okay, let's make another one of these. Eh. But I don't know how to jump. Not 
that nice nope <clears throat> sure hope there's enough blocks to go around because I'm not going back home there Ah, damn it. Um, let's bring it all up. Why not? Another thing that I forgot to bring is uh, carpets. I'm gonna need carpets at some point because these things gonna spawn. These things gonna spawn spiders <clears throat> if I don't convince it not to. Also, I should probably put down some torches so that creepers don't decide to drop on my head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And another one. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to take a trip back home. Whether I want or not. So... I'll finish... Oops, not that one. I'll finish this sector and we'll go back for a moment. To get the carpets, to get some deep slate. That should not go there. Cause I'm gonna run out of I'm gonna run out of stone. And I could just use deep slate for the for the platforms and be done with it. Of everything that I have, I didn't think I would run out of cobblestone. Oh well, now we have to go down. <clears throat> Have you guys seen the new the newest snapshot of Minecraft? Now the the warden can yell through through walls and knock you out. And I know Yummy is never gonna set foot on on the ancient cities. I know that for a fact. So it's gonna be really fun trying to convince her. Okay, sleep. Sure. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going back. We're going back for a quick moment. I'm gonna also get some scaffolding. Because this is... Gonna break my shovel at this rate. Leave that here. Uh, I can leave all this here as well. I don't need it. Now the question is... How do I go back home? I don't remember. Also, that looks really cool, but I know that it's not how it actually looks. I know it's missing blocks that have not rendered in. But it still looks pretty darn cool. I like that lake. Maybe there could be something there. Like, if my castle's here, <clears throat> kinda looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> if the castle's here, there could be a path going down and the uh, minigame area could like span all the all that land. And there could be like a boat or something there. That's meant to be some sort of attraction. Is that lava? What the hell? Oh! Okay. That's bound to be a bad problem though if the grass catches fire. We're gonna go put that out. Ow. Oh, I thought that was a goat. No sneaky lava on my watch. No. Go back to the nether, this is not your home. Go. Okay, uh, that's gonna be difficult to lose track of, so let's just go home. <clears throat> Oh, there was a baby in that one. Hello, welcome to life. Also, I was... I forgot I had my boots on. Okay. I was considering uh, for the minigame thing having different, like, different themed areas. Because the most popular uh, theme park here in, in where I live, it has, like, five or six different areas themed uh, about themed around this is bothering me themed around um areas of the world and the attractions and and the uh, the places i forgot that was there everything everything there is 
uh, made to look specifically. Oh, there's a polar bear. Do you have a baby? Are you gonna attack me? Or are you teal? Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm going the right way. Hold on. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> there, you you kind of go into that park through the Mediterranean area. That's kind of Italian looking. And you can go to the Polynesian. Uh, I don't actually know how it's pronounced in English. Polynesian, I guess, area. There's also a Far West. There's also Mexico and China. And I always really liked going to a restaurant in in the Mexico area because <clears throat> they had really nice and really tasty food. But one day, one day I became traumatized. It was a dark, rainy night. You know you're close to spawn when you start seeing those things. It was a dark, rainy night. And we were having dinner. Waiting for the train to come. To take us to... To the Mediterranean area to go back home. And... The garden ha- uh, the... Um, words... The restaurant has... A really big garden... Behind... Like with trees and all that stuff... <clears throat> and... Since it was so rainy... <clears throat> gosh... Since it was so rainy, the um, animals that lived in that garden started uh, not crawling out, but squirming out. And the moment I looked down to the floor, I was mm, I was a baby, pretty much at that point. The floor was covered in slugs. And they were starting to go up the the chair. <clears throat> and I was having none of that. Oh, the thing went off. Slugs. They were slugs. And ever since, I, I am not able to look at this lag and, and not remember that. I am very much not a fan of slugs. No, sir, no. Uh, what else? I can appreciate uh, snails as long as they are far away from me. Because they're kind of slimy too. I once touched this nail, it was not fun. And the weird thing is that... People eat snails. It's a thing. Especially in France and the northern parts of my country. Like... Who thinks that's a good idea? Besides the French. I, and people will tell you that it's kind of like eating, eating clams or something like that, but clams are not slimy. The last time I saw uh, uh, clams, they were not slimy. They were not gross. They're just a bit fleshy, but not slimy. 
Slugs just look squishy and I don't know where to touch them to throw them away. Just don't touch them. Down my street there's there's a pipe that every time it rains a lot of slugs come out of it and no 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 <clears throat> I'm in danger I don't have a bed oh no there's a snow there's a snow I hope uh, I don't see any snow skeletons because that would suck majorly there's a boy there's a friend Ooh, a friend look at them they were fancy clothes in this texture pack that's a really nice best sir I didn't look at you I didn't look at you I didn't look you in the eyes. No, 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 no. No. Please, sir, leave me alone. It's gonna come inside. And it's gonna kick me in the face. No. No, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Let me find a tree or something first. Oh gosh, where are you? Please die. Ooh, extra balls. I didn't look it in the eyes though. Okay. Uh, I'm got kind of thrown around. I think it's that way though. Ow. Is this one gonna have a baby? No. I once cracked one of those eggs and I got four babies out of them. Out of it. So yeah, as I was trying to say before I went on rambling about about slugs I kind of would like to try and do something like that maybe oh bones maybe not with like countries of the world because that can get a bit touchy if I if we don't work uh, with the care that it should be taken care words are not cooperating <clears throat> it could get a bit hard i guess and uh, i would rather not disrespect anyone hello niliara welcome to the stream again how are you today uh been here for a while but i don't know what to say it's fine you you're you're more than free to to lurk uh we are building a really ugly mob grinder <clears throat> okay so i forgot to bring more of that it's fine uh so maybe i can find a different kind of topic to work with but I don't know what, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ask the other people in the server what they think. A uh, bit more. Sure. Uh, need that, need that. 
not that <clears throat> up up we go but i really do love that theme park and i wish i could go back there's a new area as well it's not based on a real country though you know what it's based on it's based on sesame street it's mainly for kids I don't think I should have put those there yet. I think I should have built up. Nope. There's also a spot that's like Ferrari themed. Like, as in the, the car company. And I don't know how I feel about that so much, but... I guess parents also need to have their fun. It's been so long since I've been there though. <clears throat> Actually I'm pretty su I'm pretty sure that the last time I was there I went with my uncle because my my cousin was there. We were in uh, one of his I'm I'm kind of afraid to say this but he was into into multi-level marketing pretty much. Uh we were there with uh a party that his bosses organized. And we went to to pick her her daughter his daughter up at that theme park. <clears throat> we all have that uncle that's into MLM. Um, but yours has not... Well, uh, I'd rather not get too much into detail about my uncle's whereabouts. Because <clears throat> it's it gets a bit messed up. Um, nothing to do with MLM, those. <clears throat> Uh we went to the to the theme park and my uncle was like we went to the to one of the hotel rece receptions uh and my uncle asked if we could go in and out real quick to grab his daughter and and just leave and they let us in and we left hours later we went on all of the attractions for free so that was a fun day It was actually a, a what's it called? A, a costume party, and the theme was like hippies and all that stuff. 
I still have the glasses that my that my mom made us wear there for the costume. And they look really good with the with some of my outfits. So yay for that, I guess. Um have a problem. I don't have any fuel. Well I have spruce, but I'm gonna need a lot of it. I'm gonna go and take down a tree or so. <clears throat> that one, that tiny one. Unless there's coal in this village or something. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the mo the higher the higher you go in in the world, the easiest it is to find coal and iron. Is that how it goes? Also, uh, just so you know, I'm a bit scared of posting this on YouTube later on. It feels a bit too official for some reason. You don't really need to think about the origin narration. Uh, Mojang actually released uh, a chart <clears throat> of where the the ores are more common i i was just trying to remember now the best way to find diamonds is to go basically at level minus 58 or so 57 58 which is like two blocks o uh, above uh Two blocks above uh, bedrock, so now you know. There's the moon, and for some reason I cannot sleep. What sense does that make? Let me sleep, thank you, oops. I just ate a piece of food while I was sleeping. Anyway, that should be... Hopefully enough. I don't think I'm gonna need more bricks, so... We can leave those there. But I'm gonna need a lot of stone. <clears throat> Is this one of the new Minecraft songs? You know, I actually have no idea. I think so. But I'm not sure. Is it loud enough? I can turn it a bit up, maybe. That should be fine. I never really paid too much attention, but I do think it's new. I think it's one of the biome-specific songs. Because this is a meadows, right? This is a meadow, yeah. With all of the alliums and all. But I love those. <clears throat> Oops. 
you know what the best thing about this is you can see all of these alliums here there's a crap ton of them there were more I came here with my friend we took like half of these and there were more down there and there's still more And actually, I think there's different kinds of meadows. Like, this one is all like purple, yellow, and blue. But there were other... Uh, I've been in other meadows that had different color schemes, like that one over there. There's no alliums there. But there's puppies, there's uh, dandelions, and... And daisies. <clears throat> and I don't know how that works. Like I understand the, the whole mechanic. And the whole idea of, of this place being like. A flower forest but without the trees. But. Depending on. Which one you go. You're gonna get different flowers. And that's nice. Also, that looks just. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna get whisked away by the fa the, the fairies. Okay, this is really slow. Let's make a platform. Do I have my... Nope. I left my carpets downstairs. Damn it. Oh. There's a beast nest. There's a beast nest there. <clears throat> it's a really cool biome. Yeah. I, I really like it. It's nice. It's... Kind of like a plains biome, but better. With more spice. Uh, is this an 8 by 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And this uh, platform is gonna be covered, but over the the roof of this uh, this farm, I'm probably gonna make like some sort of square for the castle, because if you've uh, tuned in recently, this is gonna become a castle. I'm gonna make the farm right in the middle, so while I'm going around building and decorating things this should be active as far as i understand but i don't understand much Why are these things so slow? That should be a bit like nearly enough to finish the the toot. I don't exactly know the proper pronunciation of it. 
so please deal with me. I mean bear with me, not deal. Deal sounds like I'm not giving you any other chance. <laughs> Okay. Uh, pretty sure this one needs to be this. Then one, two. Ooh. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight, and one more for the wall. And I'm gonna decorate uh, the whole exterior of this thing. It's gonna look sweet. Uh, first though, <clears throat> need more stone. I mean, I could just go mine some. I have a silk that's pickaxe. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go do that. Pardon? Where? Sounds like there's a party down there. Oh yeah, there's a party. That's on cool cave though. And there's copper. I'm gonna try not to ruin it too much. I'm gonna see if I can find a more discreet spot to mine. Maybe here. Because I don't know, maybe someone wants to do something in this cave. And if I ruin it, they're not gonna be able to. Thankfully, we are kind of close to spawn, so it's not like I'm gonna feel really isolated from everyone and want to stop playing at some uh, at any point. Cause that happens a lot to me. I used to be in another in another server that I kind of did, <clears throat> just kind of. Um. I don't think I can juggle two or more servers at once. <clears throat> um, there was never anyone online. And I was like... 300... 3000 or so blocks away from spawn. And I built a whole mansion and there was no one that would come to visit and, and 
have fun with me so I just kind of stopped playing there it's kinda sucks cuz I, I, I was there with an old friend that I met long time ago <clears throat> Also, uh, the, the server owner was into, was into crypto and I was like, that's kind of, mm, that's not the flavor I want. On two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on. Okay. It's for the wall. Oh yeah, no. That doesn't need to be there. I mean, I still have the mansion though, so I, I'm not too, I'm not that fast about it, because I, I built it in creative first to see what I needed and all the dimensions and everything. I still have the mansion, so I could just rebuild it somewhere else. Oh, right. But it definitely <clears throat> made me want to build more mansions. Like, if you've been here for long enough, you'll know about my murder mystery mansion. I'm really proud of that and the idea kind of came from that server. I want to create maps for people to enjoy, for people to play in with their friends and I feel like that's something... God I suck at this. I feel like I also want to be able to do that with my own friends so I started working on on a mansion that I could use for <clears throat> for a YouTube series or something like that that was kind of like a murder mystery thing uh, pretty much like there's gonna be it's pretty much gonna be like playing Clue, but in Minecraft. I build the mansion, everyone's gonna bring their characters, and making stuff for friends is really nice, yes. Uh, I hope I have enough of this. So... Especially when they are able to appreciate it. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Maybe next week we can go back to that and try to build a bit more. Make some nice interiors for, for the things that are still missing it. Missing them. <clears throat> and you know, I haven't even prepared anything for it. And I'm already thinking about making another another map for murder mystery murder mystery things <clears throat> the whole idea would be to make some sort of it's a mansion like a really big gothic mansion in the middle of uh, 
of a big body of water in a swamp. It has a maze, it has a pantry, it has bedrooms, it has everything. <clears throat> and it was gonna be also like some sort of room escape thing. Oh, I'm gonna be short for three blocks just. And I'm gonna cry. Oh well. This it is. Okay, we have the platforms. That's good. Escape room in Minecraft? Kind of. It's not like the main goal of the of the game, if you could call it that at all. <clears throat> it's gonna be trying to find who the actual murderer of the mansion in the mansion is but <clears throat> you will also like have to explore and solve puzzles inside of the thing and like figure out things and try to find your way to some sort of exit if you are trapped by by the murderer <clears throat> sounds really cool but i lack the experience to make that a reality like i don't know how to write it so i was thinking about contacting aleph who has experience being a, a Dungeons and Dragons DM? Hmm. And maybe he could help me. I think it needs to be a 2x2. Two two. But. Hmm. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do the carpet thing. The map's pretty much ready to go. I would like to do some redstone and puzzles and stuff. Which I'm not really good at, let's be honest. I think this is fine. I'm not sure though. And... Yeah, I should talk to Aleph and... See if he would be willing to to help me make the campaign in big quotation marks because it's not gonna be really a campaign. <clears throat> but I was already thinking about the next iteration of this being instead of an in a mansion. In a big train. Does sound like a DD campaign but without without magic and stuff. Yeah, kinda. It's pretty much like glorified uh glorified clue if you've ever played. You just need to find out who the murderer is. Everyone's gonna have their their characters, their little backstory, and all that. And everyone will need to work together to overthrow whoever's trying to murder everyone. <clears throat> Now I need 
trapdoors. A whole lot of trapdoors. Now the thing is that I don't know how to build trains, so that's the first problem. <clears throat> I don't think that's gonna be enough. But imagine this, like, really old kind of train, like in old movies that's like really fancy with curtains and really nice windows and all that. That's kind of the idea that I had. And it could, like, tie back to the original game. <laughs> Somehow... I was trying not to do that. I hope this is enough, because I know that people do this uh, carpet thing to make sure that spiders don't spawn, but I don't know if they can spawn there. I'm pretty sure they can. So uh, I'll probably have to rearrange the, the carpet at some point. I'm gonna have to google it. <clears throat> Maybe I could ask Yomi if she would like to help me build the train. Because I know she likes trains. And I was even thinking about... What if I make another one still needs in a big cruise ship like kind of think titanic but without the iceberg I'm probably also gonna ask Wit to help a bit. God damn it! Because I know Wit really likes uh, Agatha Christie books. Speaking of Wit, yesterday I watched the movie of. <coughs> Of one of Agatha Christie's books, I think. Agatha Christie Miss Marple something something. It was fun. There was Benedict Cumberbatch in there. Benedict Cumbersome. Eh, not that. Now, buckets. 
it's pretty much done it just I did not just do that I just need to put the roof on it and light up the caves underneath to make sure that nothing spawns in the caves and everything spawns inside of this box. And also maybe rearrange the, the carpets. Also, can you imagine how hard it would have been to build this farm? <coughs> <coughs> Hold on. Over in the... Not again! My god, I don't have blocks. I don't have blocks. How hard it would have been to build this farm in the icy biome? Because all of that water would have frozen. Also, I kind of need that block back. Where did it go? There you are. No. <clears throat> so now we just need to put that cover in it make the caves underneath all lit up and build around it and it's gonna look sweet so basically mobs are stupid and will think this is solid ground and they'll walk out uh, walk uh, thinking that this is open Fall here, go down. <clears throat> and die of fall damage. Just in case someone doesn't know. Someone's not properly acquainted with the magic of mob grinders. Well, now you are properly acquainted. Or as properly as I can offer uh, uh, my knowledge for you. And fixed. And now the mobs are stupid and they're gonna go down there and die. Hopefully. And as I said, this is gonna be a too tall room. So there's gonna be a cover on it. I may do like some sort of glass ceiling with tinted glass so that you can see if mobs are falling down though I don't think anything is gonna spawn if you're at this level I think you need to be a bit higher up but yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much how this thing works this is the first one i built in in survival just so you know so it, if it doesn't work that's not on me
well, kind. <clears throat> Gonna pick up my things. Pick my things up. Uh, I guess I can leave that there. We'll leave this tiny house here. No, we're gonna sleep first. We're gonna go back to spawn one last time. Leave all this junk there. <clears throat> and I'll bring the stuff that I need to uh, finish building this at some other point. If it lets me sleep. And maybe when I, like, understand how how this, uh, hold on, how sorting systems work, I could stream again and make uh, make the sorting system on stream. Though that's not usually a good idea. Redstone on camera is not a good idea. Never has been, never will be. Oh, that's nasty. No thanks. That's dripstone. That's a cool ravine. Though I think this is called a cave carver, not a ravine. Who cares though? Who cares about semantics? So yeah, that's primed and ready. I just need to make it pretty. Ow. Let's go back to spawn and do Another tiny tour before I go? What do you think? I'm just gonna show around spawn how everything is looking. Also, those are mine. Though I think I'm gonna leave I'm I'm gonna let them free because the other the other village is closer to where I'm gonna base, so it's gonna be better. gonna be easier to move the these people that kind of sucks sir <clears throat> oh sure also just so you know I'm this close to to asking Monty if I can have the seed of the map of the server because I I do not believe that the closest uh, desert is 10,000 blocks away I just do not believe it Elsa Woods action yay Let's go. That's the one that Rushi found. It's at exactly 7,000 per 10,000 blocks. More like 8,000 per 10,000. And spawn is pretty much at zero, zero. So, just so you know how much we have to travel for that. Uh, I don't know where I am. Rusi went so far and then she had to come back. Which is the worst part. Where am I?
and I was like, we can make another tunnel to there. It's not gonna be so bad. Then I saw that it was 10k blocks out, and I was like, that's almost 1k through the Nether, a bit more. And yeah, I I I do not feel like digging so much through the Nether. <clears throat> Especially not considering that our nether spawn is a crimson forest, which is pretty much one of the worst that you could get. Not as bad as basalt deltas, but it's, it's there. Anyway, let me leave some blocks here, because I'm carrying a lot of junk. Mm. Weird. <clears throat> Cobblestone there. Uh, cobble. Bricks. Brick slabs. Stone. My buckets go there. Flowers. You go there. Uh, scaffolding goes. Scaffolding goes here. These are the first ender pearls that I have. And I could turn them into an ender chest now that I think about it. That's cool. Oops. I've been missing an ender chest so much. I'm gonna leave that there. And this can stay. I don't care. <clears throat> anyway, this, for people that that may have just joined, this is our area. This is our this is our spawn. I'm pretty sure spawn is there. <clears throat> It's been a while since I've died without the bed, so I'm not sure. <clears throat> That's Yummy's house. It's full of dogs. That's Yummy's fort. There's also dogs there. That's Yummy's tower. There's also dogs there. And over there, that's Yummy's greenhouse. There's no dogs there yet. Yet. Being the keyword. <clears throat> This is to keep my house from burning down because <clears throat> it's all made out of wood and I would rather not have to rebuild. <clears throat> and also technically the first thing that I build in the server, my tiny wagon, I've used this as my starter house for another server. We have a donkey full of deep slate and tough and a bit of spruce we have some market stalls these ones for flowers there's nothing in the barrel these ones for candles there's also nothing here and these ones for string and wool i have a double chest full of string and a lot of wool as well. And I don't have a sheep farm, just so you know. <clears throat> That's all from my spider farm all the way down there. I kind of went very cottage scoring with this, I think. But I'm not hating it. I kind of enjoy it. I was also thinking of maybe making like three other poles of this like that and making some sort of cover but like as if it was fabric that was bending down with the weight but I would have to have a lot more light in here 
also there's this the well that I made specifically so no one falls inside especially not me uh, we have two arctic foxes that I don't know where they came from one of them is named is Sherbet and the other one's name is Gelato just because I thought it was cute to name them like ice cream types and we also built that bridge I designed it I designed it on my creative uh, world first and when I made it in the server um, I made it one block longer than it should be and now this flower is not in the middle of the bridge and it bothers me but I made this because I was tired of having to swim from side to side of the of the river just to go to Yomis now I can just do this and no one cares as long as the ice melts of course It does feel like a tiny, like a like a really small town. I kind of wanted it to feel like some sort of <clears throat> very rural marketplace. I'm even considering making more of those in other colors, like there, and maybe even down this path. Though that's kind of gonna cover a lot of. <clears throat> the terrain and I would rather not we have a horse we have we have neighbors fields down there Yummy is down there La Lappy fell in the water <clears throat> Lime is over there and up there we have uh, Monty, over there is uh, Torin, uh, Rushi and Aleph. And Wit used to be down there, but she said that she might be moving. <clears throat> and this is basically our communal area. Uh, it's small, but it's slowly expanding and it's raining. It's slow expanding and I'm excited to see where everything goes. I just need to make sure that nothing burns down. Cause everyone's building with wood and, and we don't want we don't want any problems. Especially not with all this forest. That's pretty much... Oh, wait. No, that's not it. I have a basement. I have a basement that needs some fixing up. Because I had to get this man here. <clears throat> Every, everyone building with wood stairs at Rushi. Yeah. That's... Actually, that's not my first concern. My first concern is lightning strikes. Because it rains a lot. But Rushi is up there with that. And we have the bee farm here. Which I have laid layered like this. Uh, there's no flowers on this side of the farm. Stop. And there's bees in here. And when you put the flowers on the other side of... Uh, crops I guess uh, the bees go to the flowers pollinate them and when they go back they bone meal one of the uh, one of the plots of crop <clears throat> and they make the the crops grow a bit faster so I set it up like this so I can trade a bit faster with 
with uh, farmer villagers so I can get emeralds to get more more mending books <clears throat> that's how you do stunks that's how you do stunks for you because 26 emeralds is not cheap let's see how much this has racked up not a lot. Beast tongues. Exactly, Chad. Beast tongues. But I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much all that I can offer for today. Uh I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, to stream on Monday. Cause that's the day that I usually do art. But I'll be back on Tuesday if everything goes all right and the girls are gonna go back to running we're gonna we're gonna do Faust job drum again and then on Thursday we'll go we're gonna do Minecraft again uh, if everything goes well I'll try to squeeze in uh, look at that book in my face distracting finish your thing yay good job everyone's finished their things today um or or i sure hope so if not go do your things um what was i saying i don't remember oh yeah if i cannot stream on monday i'll stream art on wednesday okay hopefully uh i'll be seeing you on monday and remember that this this stream right now like right now this one is gonna go on youtube okay bye uh have a have a lovely rest of your day i hope you've enjoyed it thank you very very much for coming but until next time the show is over